Hi there! Hilary Raven Porter here from Sacred Starseed Healing, uh, Astral Shaman and Tamiana Starseed Oracle. Today I want to talk a little bit about spiritual disempowerment. Not spiritual empowerment, spiritual disempowerment. So this is when we give our power away to the non-tangible. We give our power away to the divine, we give our way our power away to gods, goddesses, spirits, our guides, This doesn't mean we don't listen to, we don't respect, we don't interact with. Um, and part of this disempowerment, it goes everything from the intense of literally deferring always and only to them only doing things that they tell us to, even if it's at the detriment to ourselves. It's, not, it's about not holding our boundaries. Uh, it's really no different than when we are having an interaction with a 3D person. Are you always saying, yeah, for sure, to them, even though you're like, this doesn't feel good for me? This doesn't feel in alignment for me. Are we doing it out of fear? Are we doing it out of trauma? Are we doing it out of, like, I just can't speak up? As in all equations, you are still part of the equation. Whether it's a tangible, intangible relationship, so physical, and so physical, your physical, <laughs> and then we have the intangible of the spirit realm, or if it's 3D to 3D, or if it's 5D to 5D, the tangible to tangible, or intangible to intangible, maybe you're traveling in the astral realms. So some of the ways that I see this arising in people, I've experienced myself, I'm gonna share a story as well, are people that are choosing to disconnect, or maybe not choosing, it might be subconscious, um, it's not always a conscious choice, to disconnect from the 3D because the 3D is so challenging that it's easier to just not take the power of yourself and of your decisions here and to just hand it off to somewhere else. Well, the divine did this, you know, I had this experience, when I was going somewhere, they sent me this message through numbers or through other people or whatever, even though I know that doesn't really feel right for me, but that's okay. You know, like it's just, they, they told me to, so I'll just do it. And then that means we don't take ownership if something goes wrong. Because if something goes wrong, well, we didn't do it ourselves. The divine told us to do it. So it's nothing that we did wrong. So that goes then leads that goes then leads into that then leads into when we don't trust ourselves, when we don't trust our intuition. Maybe we've been disconnected from our intuition. And there are come times where we connect in with the divine, connect into our guides to help us confirm our intuition. So I'm so this is the same with tarot and oracle cards, right? Well, I think I want to do this thing. But, or I'm going to do this thing, but I just want confirmation. So it's a great like litmus test, but when it becomes the norm and we stop and we only defer and we stop actually going, oh yeah, no, I actually, I know what I'm talking about. I know this intuitive space within me is giving me what is aligned for me. So in the beginning we use it, we might defer to our guides, we might defer to the divine, the gods, whatever, whoever we're talking with, or interacting with. It's okay to say and be like, oh yeah, hey, confirmation, negation, like what, what are we thinking here? But when that becomes the norm, then that's where we're giving away our power, right? To use it to then affirm, oh, my intuition is supported. Awesome. As a tool for that, but don't make it the norm. Maybe I've also seen this with beings that their boundaries within the 3D realm are a bit shaky. So tangible to tangible, right? They don't, the, the big one that I see a lot and has been a big part of my own journey as well is um, just nod and smile. Yep. Feminine body. Don't create waves, even though I've kind of been one that's always like pushed and prodded and stuff like that with the boundaries. But don't speak up. Your voice doesn't matter. And so when we're learning our boundaries, even here within the 3D to the 3D, 
that translates often into regardless of who we're interacting with. On what plane of existence? This plays also into if we have a mental dialogue or an inner dialogue of what we say isn't honored or it's not enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't have enough power within me. I don't have enough knowledge or wisdom. What I say doesn't matter. Or I'm stupid. We could have that pure straight dialogue of I'm dumb. So if I say it, it won't be taken seriously. But if I say, oh, my guides told me or the divine showed me. Then it might get taken more seriously. It might get more power to it. Because they're like, oh, well, if it wasn't you, then that's fine. It's the divine. That makes sense. Another one is we've been taught to fear slash revere entities, certain entities, gods, goddesses, in particular this one, a lot of religions. That being that we worship is the omnipotent and they are the one that has all the power. And you're taught to like, yes, yes, <laughs> right? So my experience with this, when, I don't even know how many years ago now, over 11, so it's been a while. When I was being trained uh, in the Black Heart Fairy tradition, and as things were opening up more and more and more and more, and I was learning how to use, because I'd been open for a bit, but I was kind of flailing a little bit. I'd been open for quite a while, but I, I'd been flailing because there was these things happening and I didn't have a guy, I didn't have a mentor. So when I was going through this mentorship, this training, and things were opening and things were happening, I wouldn't sleep that well. Or I would sleep, I'd close my eyes here, but then I would open them in the astral realm and I'd be exhausted the next day. So physically, my body was shut down in the 3D realm, but then I was traveling into the other realms. And that's why I'd be exhausted coming to, right? And so, and it was because I was doing work. I was doing work on the other planes of existence. I was exhausted. And I was like, well, I can't say anything because this is the work I'm meant to be doing. The guides know best, the gods know best, right? And that was just one example. And there was other things where the different gods and goddesses that we were working with, and then they'd be like, okay, now I need you to X, Y, and Z. This is next on your list, blah, blah, blah. I was also going to school. Because this was through my whole journey of this training. And just going through life, and I had some health stuff going on. I was going through mass Kundalini awakening. So needless to say, my 3D existence was full. And then they were throwing all these things on top, and I was like, okay, I'll get to it. I'll do it. It's great. It's fine. It's good. Let's do it. And la, 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 right? All these things happening, 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 happening. But I didn't feel I could actually say anything. I was giving away my power because I thought they had the power. If I said no, then that made me a bad spiritual person. It made me a bad trainee. It made me, you know, a bad human. It, like, I wasn't spiritual enough for this. I should be able to handle it all. Giving it away and be like, they know best. And so when I talked to my mentor about it, and he's like, tell them no. <laughs> Say no. But not just no. It was, hey, having a conversation like we would with somebody in the tangible realm, tangible to tangible. Hey, you know what? I know you really want me to do this thing. And I like, for my experience, I was like, I really want to do this thing. And also I know that it's, I don't have the capacity or the capability to do that right now. My spoons are not that many. And also I'm in the 3D realm because the conversation I had was then, yeah, but you're in the actual realm. So you're fine. Your 3D is resting and explaining that the 3D realm is still different, even if we then astral travel with our soul, that whole thing doesn't work so well. It does not work so well. Because we actually need to fully rest. Our soul, our spirit, everything needs to fully rest, including our physical body. But the beings that we're working with may not understand that because one, maybe they've never actually been in the 3D. Or two, it's been so long since they've been in the 3D, they don't remember. Or maybe they were just in the 3D, but they're just like, well, it doesn't matter, let's just do it. Right? So we have the ability, the ability to say no. We also, so through all these things, if you've noticed all these like examples that I've given, 
there's more work to do here and in our heart and in our mind. So there's more inner plane work that needs to happen. What is the reason we're giving away our power? How do we give our power away in the 3D realm? How do we give our power away? It's often parallel into the 5D realm. What are the patterns? What are the... I had another word. What are our patterns? What are our beliefs? that we've been taught, that we've taken on, that don't actually fit. And are causing, it's not about not fitting, it's about our causing us to give our power away, to think that our power is not ours to have. Our power is always ours to have. Yeah? So the first step when we're working with the spiritual disempowerment giving our power away to this higher entity or guides or gods or goddesses is to check in with yourself about these patterns and how are they actually serving us in the 3D when we do the work here it shifts there when we do the work there it shifts here right be present be present to what you're doing be present to these interactions that you're having be present. Be like, oh, wait, I know that they've said this and I'm saying it. Do I actually believe it as well? Is it something that actually feels in alignment for me? Because it might not be. And you can say that. You can be like, yeah, that's great. That's yours. That's not mine. That doesn't feel the best for me. Practice turning up your intuition. Turn it up. Tune it in. One of my favorite ways for tuning up intuition is spending intuitive days. From the moment you wake up, to the moment you go to bed, you only do the things that you intuitively are called to do. Not the shoulds, the woulds, the musts, the coulds. None of that. Of course, if you have animals or kids, you need to, or you have to take medication, like those shoulds and musts are, do them, please. I'm not asking you to not do those things. But everything else, if you wake up and you're like, well, my normal routine is to get up and have a shower, go get breakfast, and then blah, 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 blah. No, wake up. Go, what do I feel like doing right now? I feel like going for a walk. Well, then go for a walk. It's interesting is you might notice yourself putting time limits on yourself and all that. Ignore all those things. If you say, I'm going to read for 20 minutes. If you get to the end of the 20 minutes, you want to read more, read more. If you get in five minutes, you're like, ugh, this isn't actually what I wanted to do. And doing these days on a regular basis keeps us tuned into what we actually need because it also changes day to day, right? Practice setting your boundaries on all levels. Are you a yes person? Not always a bad thing. There's reasons. But if you're a yes person, where are the places you actually want to say no? Say no. Practice on all planes of your existence, the astral, all of that. Are you doing a lot of work overnight? Astrally, you close your eyes and then you next morning you wake up and you're exhausted and you remember you were like totally traveling in the other realms. I wake up a lot, this, this week's been really intense with the Galactic Center, Atinunamasaki, Atinunamataka and Solstice coming up and all that. So I've been waking myself up, speaking light language, transitioning from one to the other. So some of the nights I'm like, hey guys, I need to sleep tonight, please. I cannot show up and do the work for you. If I'm not nourished, I need to sleep. All right. Do the inner plane work. I know I've said this a few times. This is so important. Do the inner plane work to know who you are even more, right? What you need, what you stand for. Because then when you know who you are, you take your power back. Because then the things that you stand for, the patterns that you have, the belief systems and all that are yours, not what you've told, not what you've been told you should have. And then last but not least, check in when you're with yourself when you have requests from others. Do a check-in. You've got some divine being, God, goddess, guide, kita do the vesiki, do the higher piece of yourself, but to do the twin flame, doesn't matter. Check in with yourself and say, does this feel aligned for me? Yeah? Does this feel right for me? I respect what they've said. I respect what they've asked. Does it feel right for me? Okay, 
And a good question to ask yourself is, are you still nourished in the equation? It's one of the simplest things. Am I nourished in this equation? It's not about is it a balanced equation? Because this is what happens, right? Kika to homeostatic balance. It's not always like this. Homeostatic balance. But are you nourished, even if it's like this or like this? Are you nourished? Mm. So yeah, spiritual disempowerment, giving away your power to the other realms, other beings, other gods, goddesses. The key, treat it just like you would a 3D tangible relationship. Respect, compassion. Ask yourself the inner work questions. Come from a space of knowing who you are, healthy boundaries. Yeah? And it's okay to say no sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, okay, there we go. If you have any questions or any comments, have you seen this in yourself? Have you experienced this? What was that experience like for you? What made you come to that aha moment of, oh, wait a minute, I'm giving my power away. Okay, so much love and stardust. And that's how I feel later. I'll put uh, all my info on how to connect below if you want to reach out, if you're looking to work together. I invite you to follow along. And share this if you feel it resonates or if there's somebody in your world that it would resonate with. And yeah, all the things. Jazz hands apparently, but bye. We'll see you soon.